Okay, same intro as usual when we're going with Tita Sharon and family. So, it's another vlog with her again and family. Together with my mom. She's fixing some stuff right now. So, as usual, let me show you what we're going to bring. Let's start from the right. So, I have a sling bag of Pokemon. And then, my mom's bag or purse. Probably a bag. And then this one. Yes, I will be using this. This is like some equipment for my vlogging. So, you can like push this if you want this to stand. But I will just um, put the handle here. So, I'll be putting my phone in this spot. The plug is for the microphone. So, my voice will be a little more clear. And then, lastly, we have a tote bag, Spy X Family. My mom bought this last December 2023. Our meeting place is going to be Studio 87. Meet you there already when we get to the location. Here they are. Hello, Tita Sharon. Yeah, go, go. Here's ano, Dian and Jacob. So, this is Studio 87. And our next stop is Binondo Museum in Lucky Chinatown. Tita Sharon, are you excited? How about the kids? Are you excited? Okay. Register first. And then these are the doors. This is a dark door. We see some staff. Good morning, Pa. Here's some videos of Chinatown Museum. And then we have a map. Oh, this is why um, I saw this before. So I think there is a map here of partially the Philippines. Then you press these buttons to reveal its location. Example, Burke Street. It will usually light up here if I'm right. Hold on, let's try again. Somehow it didn't work. Oh, you hold the button. So I press Juan Luna Street. So this lights up the whole line. Let's try Burke Street. Oh, okay, there. Now, since Tita Sharon and family and my mom is already here, let's move on. Here are some glowing historical pictures. The Doctrina Christiana X Shin Lu. And also a church of some sort. Another video. 
this is the non church there's even a short description and it's history so there's also some furniture baptism for Chinese migrants from the 1600s and then the religious syncretism along with some plants and floral decoration moving on so figures of faith we have some angels and saints as well as a projector doesn't show an image though so they'll still have to fix it for now here's some writings indulgence certificate here pause if you want to read and then some stuff here probably the names of the saints from these okay Chinese pagoda historical stuff here ginger bottles and then the tambourine necklace and then some other stuff here like galleon trade hardwood ivory like all the vents from the Philippines and then some basket sombreros old tools and equipment like these bowls plates and fans and also some cloth this is some sort of um, cooking crock pot description of a power a Chinese settlement in Manila So if I'm right, the China influenced us in the in the past. So that's why we know how to create these stuff to survive. Thanks to the countries. There's even ones that are hanging. Let's go right. There's my mom. I'm gonna read first descriptions. Lavandera. And then some other stuff here, other events that they do, here the sewing machine, I think, yeah, I think you spin the wheel, and then look, while Jacob is spinning the wheel, it sews the cloth. Here is the stereographs. And some clothes from the olden days or times. And then the fans the the females use in the olden times. So it also has some sign language too. So this is them. And then the Thousand Faces Fan by Alfredo Roca Collection. 
some hats and some sticks that men typically wear and use in the olden times and then the tipos de pais actually this is the next room the panaderia So, here are the breads from the old times. Hopia. No, don't touch it. It says San Nicolas cookies. I don't know where the cookies are. Probably from the nearest ones. From this. It's the old Hopia. And then the old kitchen. Yeah, it's the old Hopia. The old utensils, the native kitchen implements, the spices. And the old oven. So they burn the wood here to create fire. Then you put in like the breads here. And then this is where they store in some garlic or onions or other vegetables so this is also the old bed the taller de carpenteria eduardo altai some signs symbols And then this. So this is the European painters with the native operators from 1870. I mean 1870. Then a native carpenter with his tools. Here is probably a game. It's called Sunka. So. Here it is. It's just a table with some holes and some seats or pearls or the pens. So let's only read this. So it's a popular Philippine board game internationally, also known as the Mangkala. A two player turn based strategy game and it has different play variations across cultures. Also, this too How to Win. The aim is to acquire as many shells as you can to place them into your head. The leftmost pit. So, this one. And how to set up. Take the 98 shells and place 7 into each of the bahais or the houses. So, these little holes are the houses. So, there are 14. One for one player, the other for the other. And then... There's also two here for each player, so one big hole for one player, and then same with here. It's the financial district, so the signs for the old bills, the pesos. Here's examples of the modern peso bill, which is now colored, this is 50 and then 200. I got them and borrowed them from my mom. Then I'll be returning them already. Anatomy of a tobacco wrapper. And here's the tobaccos. The tobaccos are also used for um you know smoking purposes at the old times the tobacco mold i'll just call them tobacco the insular cigar and cigarette factory again pause if you want to read And then 
some barrels, the rum distillery process, harvest and dressing, etc. And then some liquor. Old art supplies. I wish I would get some of them, but I can't. Especially these sculpting tools. They're really good. And also more art supplies. Called Tienda de Pinturas L82. So 1882. They already have this next part the old newspapers. Let's not step on them. And then this is the Filipino heroes like Jose Rizal here. Andres Bonifacio Roman Ongpin and Jen Jose Bawa Botica de San Fernando So it's like a meat shop or my mom wanted to ask me to picture, sorry I can't at the moment. So here's some spices. And then more spices. And then here's the rest of the inside. So it's the Poland Hopiak factory. This is the tram vias de Filipinas. Some sort of tramway with two horses. And I think we have led into a dead end. I don't think it is a dead end, I'm not sure. There's a curtain there going to the other area here is some manila dry goods so this they also make chocolate here okay and then more sunka I was not expecting this to appear there's more here ink pads all the way there and then we have La Estrella del Norte. So it's some sort of building run by some people. If I'm right. And then some jewelry. something the newspaper area you can actually go immediately into this area you know where the languages of the fan are thanks to our photographer this guy anong pangalan mo po? Ray we were able to snag some good photos thanks to him area you can see the entrance already the history timeline of Binondo so we go all the way back and there is so much years which is normal up to here in 2019 and this is already the conclusion part and also the picturing with, along with Kuya Ray. 
While picturing, let me show you these posts in social media. Oh, they're see-through. Okay. I don't think they're posts. They just made it like that to attract people. So there's descriptions all over them. Like this one. Before we leave, let's ask Tita Shawan some questions. What is your favorite room in the museum? Favorite room in the brewing. Hmm? With the one in... Yung may tabako. Ah, the tobacco? Yes. Ah, okay. How about you, Jacob? What's your favorite room? Oh, the one with the... The, yeah, the pastries. How about, ano, atelian? Atelian. What is your favorite, ano, room in the museum? Uh, the pastries also. For me, I would say also the same thing. This room is the igniting volunteerism. Mostly fire trucks and fire stuff. So we have a lot of these right until there and then the old firefighter suit and then also some equipment and then lastly a ladder and a quote so here it is. It's by Edwin Billy Chua. Lastly, this leads right into the lobby. Once again. And we are gonna get our stuff back. So, Kuya Ray, thank you po for the pictures and for the you know, exploration here. Po. We are very thankful. And now, we're gonna eat lunch, not in this restaurant because they decided not to. They will just try to find a restaurant somewhere. But first, did you enjoy in the museum? Yes, a lot! Also me, also. Yes. Especially the photos. The photos, you enjoy photos, huh? Yeah. And of course, I love the food there. Yeah. But the food, you cannot eat that. We will eat the real food. Yeah, so we're gonna see you later. Actually, we're gonna eat at Pancake House inside the mall. So here's the design. And this is where we're going to seat, probably. This is the menu right now. It's quite large. And I decided my order. I will have special Salisbury steak and two pieces or three pieces blueberry pancake since this is of course pancake house let's order some pancakes to um, give some respect to the restaurant while waiting my mom and Peter Sharon uh, they have bought some macaroons for snacks some hopia and some bread here. I'll probably eat them later on. So the tacos have been served. They will probably eat it soon. So here is the Salisbury steak with rice and some vegetables. I'll be getting a scoop while I'm waiting for the other food. I will start eating already. Okay, the scoop is ready. So here we go. Pretty good. I like the taste of the gravy. There's more here. And the vegetables just gives it a nice nutrition and taste to the steak. Here are the other foods, we got some pancakes and um, I think breaded pork chop, pork special that Jacob is eating. 
is the blueberry pancake. This is how I slice it. So I slice it horizontally with adding syrup and a few butters. So let's eat the pancake. Mm, I didn't taste the blueberry. Let's taste another blueberry. So I'm slicing one of the pancakes right now. It's really good, as usual, with Pancake House. Now, after we eat, we waited for like an hour so we can talk. So we talk for an hour and then we're gonna go to Shangri-La Plaza to find more stuff and to also um, do some enjoyable stuff there. So yeah, I will now see you soon. Shangri-La Plaza so we're gonna play in Q Power Station so let's head inside here it is Sean and Lee Ann has um, come back also. So how was your uh, no, strolling? What? How was your strolling? It was, it was fun. We saw JK. <laughs> JK from BTS? Yes, we have uh, pictures. Uh, did Lee Ann enjoy? Yes, she wants to come back again. We only have a limited time, so she said we will come back again next time. Ah, uh, okay. They only have limited time, yes. so... We come back again yeah. okay, with your mama and uh, we can go to the escape room to play. Yeah. Okay. That will be uh, another event. I probably won't vlog you that. I'm sorry. Yeah. So now, since Tita Sharon is about to leave, we're going to go to another coffee shop na lang or restaurant somewhere along the way. because of some reasons. Uh, because my uh, brother and sister-in-law are tired already. They need uh, to rest. Uh, yeah. So we are gonna eat in Canto Freestyle. So they're still gonna find a seat. This is the menu right now. the food I ordered bacon cheese and mushroom omelette and here are the others we also got mango shakes Here, especially this turns into like a really good taste. Okay, 
Okay, so we are done eating. Let's hear some closing remarks from my mom. Closing remarks first. So you all, thank you for the day. Thank you for the events, the museum, the Shangri-La, etc. I enjoyed it. I think we also enjoyed it, right? You have anything to say, Mom? Yes, thank you for the day and the great fun day. We had fun. Okay, how about the others here? Tita Shaun is calling someone right now. Let's ask Leon and Jacob. So, how did you like the events today? It was good and fun. She said it was good and fun, which is agreeable. How about you, Jacob? I enjoyed the museum. I have a lot of fun. Okay. Agreeable. So now we are going to exit the Kanto Freestyle. So we're gonna say goodbye already to Tita Shaon. We'll drop them off first in the meeting place at the beginning of the video. Studio 87. We're at Studio 87 right now. And they are going to the room already. We will just see the room and then we will say goodbye. So room 212. This is their room. We will not be staying here actually. We're just gonna check. So it's just quite empty since we're only going to be staying here for a short while. After the, the checking and some uh, relaxation, well, I'm going to end it here already. So please like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. So yeah. So that's the whole vlog, I guess. So that's it. So... I'm grateful that they enjoyed to the Sharon and family, of course. And I'm also grateful and happy about their events. So anyways, I'll see you again next video. So yeah, goodbye guys.